Hi, I am Dr. Hiranapa P. Udnur, Pulmonologist practicing at Inspire Speciality Clinic, Sakar Nagar, Hebal, Bangalore. So, not all of them requires uh, pneumonia. Usually, childhood vaccinations are given for uh, uh, killer diseases like tuberculosis and all. They can also be manifested as pneumonia. First of all, there is a differential diagnosis of pneumonia are there which you should be uh, careful of that but if they are more prone for pneumonias like bronchitis they can get re recurrent pneumonia so those are the patients and who have a pre-existing lung disease like asthma or COPD or elderly or extremes of age group or more prone for pneumonia or the recovery of that pneumonia uh, now even adult vaccinations have come so most of the things are uh, due to pneumococcal so we have one steady uh, once in lifetime preparation of uh, pneumococcal uh, vaccines one is a polysaccharide vaccine and one is a conjugate vaccine so both can be taken uh, can be taken at eight weeks apart is a recommendation somebody use a immunosuppressed dose those patients have to be vaccinated because the 50 percent of the pneumonia even if you don't identify the cause are due to streptococcus pneumonia they stand first and second is uh, every year before the start of a season of flu uh, one month before where uh, flu season starts uh, there comes as an influenza vaccine every year the strange changes and the protection is for one year uh, you can go for a vaccinations for that that's about uh, pneumonia